Hello everyone, thanks for watching Mogabees. Today we're going to be reviewing the Mini Presso GR, the portable espresso maker that requires no electricity and no cartridges. Stay tuned! So this is the Mini Presso GR version. I purchased it during their pre-order program, so it took almost three months to receive it since they were still being fabricated. But other similar handheld units cost around $150, so this is pretty cost effective. So let's talk key features here. It uses standard coffee grinds, doesn't require any cartridges, batteries, or electricity. And even though it's made of plastic, almost entirely, it's very thick and it feels very solidly made. It weighs about 0.8 pounds and it's about 7 inches long. The company says it is made from FDA safe materials. So let's take this apart and see how it works. Having this many parts to start with can be a little intimidating, but let's go over them real quick. Comes with an espresso cup just for drinking, the spout unit where the espresso comes out, the filter basket where you place your grounds, the main body of the unit, and this is where your pump is, and this is the bottom unit where you put the water. You have to preheat your own water, it does not do it for you. And lastly, a small pre-measured scoop, and it also serves as kind of a general tamp. But we'll talk about that in a moment. You'll take your scoop. And you'll take the filter basket, pop it right on top of the scoop, and it kind of snaps right on there. Take the scoop off. And this is where the instructions conflict a little bit because in their demonstration video, they show this being used as a tamp. In the instructions, they specifically say to not tamp. So I just pretty much use it to level things off. Then we're going to take this, put it on the top of the pump unit, and it just kind of sits in there. Go ahead and take the spout unit and screw that on top. Make sure it's really tight. Next step is to take the water cup, fill it with your preheated water. It is very, very important that you not fill this above the fill line. You will burn yourself. Take the top portion of the unit, carefully screw it on. Use both hands to tightly squeeze this together. Now that we're ready to extract our espresso, we're going to move it to unlocked. That's going to release the pump. You're going to flip it over and the company shows this being done with one hand. My hands are not large enough or strong enough to do that. So I'll be using two hands for this. The first six or seven pumps will be pushing water down into the chamber and the remaining pumps will be pushing the espresso out. And this is my least favorite part. You're getting that really nice espresso, but at the same time, the pumping and the noises you're about to hear kind of take the romance out of the process, to be honest. It's a lot like putting air in an old bike tire. So there's our first six pumps, and we'll keep going. Here it comes. and you just keep pumping until it stops. That's it. The standard for true espresso is about nine bars of pressure. So this comes in at about 116 PSI, which is about eight bars. So just under the standard for espresso, but the results are decent. Not machine grade espresso, but it has good crema, it's a little under extracted in my opinion, but really not bad for a portable unit. So let's talk about cleanup of this device. You disassemble the unit, throw the grounds away, and rinse it out. It's pretty simple. A couple parts can't be flushed out with water, so you'll have to rub them down with a damp cloth by hand. And this brings us to my biggest concern, and that is long-term maintenance. Because you can't open up completely the spout unit or the center pump unit. They are fully enclosed. You can't really dry it from the inside. And long term, you'll find you'll come back one or two days later and drops of water or old coffee will be coming out of it. You can let it sit out and air dry and there is a 12 month warranty for what it's worth, but I am concerned about long term mineral and sediment buildup in these two units. The bottom line for the Mini Presso, 
cons. It took a while to get from China. The process is a little utilitarian and like I said, takes a bit of the romance out of the process. Not a big deal when you get decent coffee. And long-term maintenance is a bit of a concern. Not being able to fully access all of the parts and clearly dry them out is a little bit of a concern for me. Pros for the Mini Presso, it has very solid construction. All the parts snap on and fit together snugly. Makes a decent cup of espresso. Does it replace a genuine espresso machine? Absolutely not. And even though it's not technically espresso, I prefer the flavor I get from my mocha pot, to be honest. It seems to be great for situations where you don't have access to a heating element, espresso machine, or electricity. Thanks for watching.